Is that feces? I recently took a look at our analytics and discovered that over half of the people watching these videos are not subscribed. So if that's you, uh, consider subscribing and we'll hope to help you out by taking your life and making it better by watching our videos. Yeah, that's the goal. The reason I'm making this video is A, people wanted to see it. B, I really do love and care about you and I want you to do better. I had one person comment in the last video that said, they just skip over bad photos in Morph Marker. So my, my hope here is that if your photo makes in this video or if you take photos like the ones you might see in this video that I'm critiquing, you will be able to do better and not be one of those people who get skipped over because you have such horrible photos. It is truly white because there was editing done to make it white. Not horrible, but not professional. Let's look for a, let's look for a bad one. Is that feces? Great snake, horrible photos. Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. Last weekend, we asked you if you wanted to see me review photos on Morph Market. I'm gonna go on Morph Market right now here on my phone. You guys get to watch along with what I'm looking at right here on the screen. And I'm going to be hypercritical of people's photos on Morph Market. I'm probably gonna focus mostly on ball pythons because that's what I usually put pictures of up there. Or maybe we'll do just ball pythons right now and the, do another series of this video with other species. I have whole other videos where I showed good techniques for doing good photography of your animals. I'll link those videos in the description down below if you need tips and tricks on how to take better photos of your animals. Those videos are down there. I've got it pulled up to one of my buddies here that I know and love because I'm gonna pull apart one of his photos. I wanted to start with somebody that I already care about and know and not just jump on somebody that I don't know and be super harsh to their photo. But that's that's gonna be Zach, representative of Husbandry Pro over there. Um, Zach Parpart, Parpart's Pristine Pythons, FYI. Go use coupon code CUSCO60, try Husbandry Pro for free for two months. If you have even a couple of animals, it's a program I would highly recommend checking out. Let's have a look here. <laughs> it's, so to be fair, Zach doesn't have horrible photos on all of his things. It's got a cool marble countertop looking thing it looks like here for some of them. There's a handheld shot. But this is the one I was looking at. I was scrolling through the other day when I decided I was going to make this video. Couldn't even take the snake out of the tub. And that, my friends, is the first pick apart. That's that's really the only thing I can say about that about this. It's like, in here you can't even hardly see the head of the snake. It's like, is that a, is that a, is that a, like a urate hiding down in the corner of the tub? I mean, we all get urates, but, but. Just, or maybe it's a piece of cotton. I don't know what it is, but the snake's half hidden in shadow. Is just come on, Zach. <laughs> I let's just go through some. This is kind of a this is kind of cool idea. I I don't not like that. I mean, it's just different. It grabs attention. You get uh, on a pool table. Hey, I can dig that. That's not bad. Oh, is that a uh, ball in hand ball pi ball in hand pythons? And that's that's branding. That's branding. This is great. There's a uh, the ball in hand is a billiards term, a a pool term, and they're including billiards balls in their photo. It's branding. I like it. Here's another good thing. I know I'm saying they rip some apart, but the first ones that are popping up aren't too bad. I mean, it's not the greatest high quality photo it, when I'm talking like professional photos. Standard quality, standard quality here. Um, I like that it's got a nice wood background. Kind of reminds me of my table right here. And if they do this in all of their pictures, LP Exotics. Um, if they do this in all of their pictures, then I'd say that's pretty cool. Only three listings, so we're not gonna have a whole bunch of examples there. I want to look for something in particular that I think is really cool and is really professional looking. Of course, Canova has some. So right here, this Desert Ghost Clown Double Head Hypo G Stripe from Canova. The background is white. And because a camera does not have the dynamic range that our eye does. So when it takes a picture of something, you're not gonna get a perfect white background, even if the background is actually white. And you have to do some post editing to get it to look like your eye sees it. So that's something that I know they do pretty well over there. And you can tell because you'll see that the, the white, like under this black head mystic head clown that's next to it, the white of the background of the screen where the text is, is white. And so you look at the Canova picture and that white just blends right together with the white of the screen and the text. 
And so you know that background is white, you know you're getting accurate colors represented here. It's not too cool blue or too warm yellowish white, it's white white. And you can only achieve that by editing. Because again, the camera does not have the same dynamic range that your eye does. In fact, it's much smaller. So editing is part of it. And you can get free editing software on your phone, or you can take manual control over your phone camera. You don't have to go out and buy a bunch of expensive equipment. You know, have a light, have a nice light, have a nice background. I talk about all this stuff in one of those videos down below. But there's a good example of what you can do to, what I look at, I'm like, that's, that's professional photo right there. This one here, next to it, not horrible, but it's not very good. The lighting just isn't even. You can tell they put it in a light box, but the lighting just isn't even. And it's not, it's not horrible. It's not, definitely not a horrible picture. I wouldn't classify this as like, this is a terrible picture. I'm just saying, when you're sitting next to a Canova picture, the difference is obvious. Like that Canova picture is just like well lit, evenly lit, and no weird shadows, no weird lighting, accurate representation. This is, this person took this photo, Southern Star Reptiles took this on a black background. That's a little black drop, but it's like gray almost, or, or, or you know, it's just, it's just not professional. Again, not horrible, but not professional. Let's look for a, let's look for a bad one. See, here's what I'm talking about with the Superfly 100% Het Clown. Like they took that on what was probably a, a white background, but because they didn't do any post editing um, or the lighting wasn't bright enough or whatever the reason, it's, it's gray. So you're not getting a full 100% um, accurate representation of what that snake actually looks like in person because the white is not white, it's actually gray. It's not too bad, it's like maybe a little warm and, or, or maybe a little too cool. Either way, not 100% accurate representation of color, which I will hear the arguments where people will say, hey, I'm really happy when I get a snake and it looks better than it did in the photo. So if you're making your photos look exactly like the snakes looks like in person, then maybe you're not gonna have that experience where you get the snake and you're like, oh, it looks even better than it did in the photo because you're seeing what it actually is supposed to look like in the photo. But I don't think that's a reason to take bad photos. Tall grass reptiles. This is something that I know I'm supposed to be looking for bad ones. I just haven't seen a really bad one that stuck out to me yet and I'm just scrolling through. I wanna give everybody a chance. I like this. You know, they, they've, I would imagine that they've got every one of their photos on this type of background. There's a little bit of branding involved there. You know, look at this, see that same marble background. And I'd be willing to bet if you look through their photos, every single one of these is going to have that same background, which is cool, not bad. Let's go back. Held in the hand, ah, I just, so fireball pythons. I mean, you can get a size reference there. And they're showing some detail, some, showing some detail. I don't, I don't hate it. And there's one where they're sitting on the thing, okay. Those are some pretty good photos. They got they have a whole bunch of photos up of this snake. That's not bad. I was gonna go in and say that a handheld photo is doesn't look the best, but the fact that they have a whole bunch of other photos, I'm gonna go ahead and renege on calling that a horrible photo because there are lots of other options to see the animal not just held in their hand. They put a lot of effort into the photo shoot for that animal, you can tell. Okay, this one, Butter Wookie Clown. $2,500 snake, Uncle Joe's Ball Pythons. I mean, the hands are more featured in this photo than the snake is. Like, that's a really cool snake. And, like, that's a really cool snake. And unless somebody was looking specifically for these genetics and, like, really wanted that snake, like, you, the people that were commenting on my video last week saying that they just scroll by bad photos, this is one they're going to scroll by. Because, again, the hands are featured more in the photo. The snake is, like, one-tenth of this picture, and the rest of it is hands and some horrible shadows in the background and... Look at this, this one, like, the shadow is covering part of the snake. Okay, this one right here, Flynn Reptiles. They made an attempt by putting it in, into a light box. You can tell it's on some, in some kind of box, but the lighting is just bad. Watch that video down below of how to get even lighting on your snake so you don't get all these weird things. You, you get the corner shot in there of the, the thing. It's just, there's all, all those things are distracting. They take away from the snake. The thing that's really, that you really want people to see is just the snake and maybe, maybe some light branding, like with that Canova photo I was showing a second ago. And you see the little Canova logo in the corner, and the rest of the photo is all about the snake, and that's the main picture. This one right here, Aquatic and Exotic Incorporated, not a bad picture, but not 100% accurate representation of the color, and you can tell because that the background is, it's taken on a white background, but it looks grayish blue. So this snake doesn't actually look like that in person. And this one, it warmed up a little bit because they're using like auto white balance and just the camera's deciding what's happening there, but again, this is not a terrible photo, not at all. It's a pretty decent photo. It just, it's not professional. And that's why it caught my eye. Just, just, there's a lot of photos like that, you know, and they're not bad photos. All these photos like this, 
that don't have the uh, perfectly white background, they're not bad. It's just they could be better. Again, here's another from Osmond Reptiles here. You can see another that, that background is just like, you know, they put them in the light box. So they, there was an attempt at taking a good photo, but it's just like you got that crease in the background there. And it's just not good. It's just not good. There's a, I mean, there's a, there's like substrate sitting inside of the shot. Like it's just not good. You want your stuff to be professional. You want to be taken seriously as a professional. My opinion, you need to have professional photos of your animals to come off as a professional snake breeder. Just keep scrolling here. I want to find one that is just like really bad, which fortunately there haven't been really bad photos. Not really, really bad. Um, this one is not good. It's bad lighting. Coco looks terrible. Okay, this chocolate clown here. Let's have a look at that. It's taken on a taken on a thing. Yeah, it's taken on on a, um probably looks like a utility cart. Not horrible, but not great. All that busyness in the background of the utility cart is just kind of distracting. Now, Bra Brazos Valley reptiles. Let's take a look at some of the other photos. So, it's, and it's not. I was gonna say if like all of their photos are on that utility cart, then maybe it's kind of a branding thing. Like all of my photos are on a utility cart. But the thing is, like, a lot of people use those for utility carts, so it doesn't really make you stand out at all to take a picture on a picture on a photo <laughs> to take your photo of the snake on a utility cart but the fact is no it's not now this isn't a horrible photo but i'm gonna go in and change my opinion and say that it is horrible because the the lighting is like so inconsistent from front to back um the back looks like purple this is taken on a white surface and yet the front is all blown out the back is all dark and almost looking purple and i'm, I'm gonna start nitpicking now okay kingpin 100 dollar snake snake doesn't look that great to start with, um, just we got a little water dish or something there in the shot. You got broken up cocoa to where you can see the bottom of the tub. Is that feces stuck, or it's just a shadow? Okay, it's just a shadow. If there were feces, and it was gonna get, it was gonna win as worst picture of the of the series so far. Just not a good picture, not a good photo. Here we go, prismatic reptiles. Um, taking on that utility cart look. It's just not a good look. I don't think you know you see utility cart and, and the sticker like you can see the The residue of the square of the sticker as you can see it's even not a that great quality of a sticker if it has like a That white residue all around it or that um, you know sticker square residue um, I mean I, I can appreciate trying to get the Logo into the shot, but it's like kind of covering it up You can't even see it and the lighting isn't horrible. The lighting is actually pretty decent but the background just needs some work. If you can't get a high quality sticker, like vinyl sticker that doesn't have that clear background, then you, you can at least get something like this. It's like a, a nice board that, you know, super inexpensive, it's made for photography, and you put your vinyl sticker on top of it, or even if you have one with a little thing, I would recommend getting a vinyl sticker so you don't have that clear background stuff. It just doesn't look very, very clean. Great snake, awesome looking snake. Just the picture needs some work which is true of probably 90% of the photos on here. You know, I'm kind of, I'm not being as hypercritical as I said I was going to be, I think, but maybe a little bit, maybe a little. I'm, I'm naturally kind of a nice person. I don't want to say bad stuff, but I really want to be helpful here. Randy Bush Reptiles, look at this, great. This is like professional right here. White background, totally white. This photo has been edited so that the cuddlers will be represented as you would see the snake when you see it with your eye in person. And you can tell because of that white, Got a little bit of the logo right there, just not a not a horrible looking sticker, just uh, added in after the fact, a little PNG file. So that looks great. Uh, Randy Bush Reptiles, fantastic photography. Something like this, you know, it's like snakes in the tub. Looks like it's kind of in shed. You don't want to put take a picture of a snake in shed and use that as yourself. No, maybe it's not in shed. It's just not that great of a picture. And then you can see the tub, you can see the water dish just sitting in the thing. It's like pretty much no effort put into taking this picture. Oh, it's okay. So it's like $25 for an adult pastel clown. It's it's on an auction right now. That's why. Okay. And it's a proven breeder female. I really hope that because this picture is so terrible that your snake doesn't go for way less than it should go for as an adult breeder pastel clown female. Yeah, I hope. I, best of luck. Only picture. It's the only picture. So there's just no effort, no effort. Just open up the tub, snap a picture with the phone, put it on Morph Market, and you're gonna get those results back of the lack of effort you put into your photo. So it's just like, this is a tough background to take a picture on. This uh, stainless steel, this looks like a Freedom Breeder rack shelf. 
great thing to have and you can actually get some pretty good photos on here but you need to the lighting is very tricky like you see those hot spots right under the snake you got those big bright bands of light that are shining out from under it and it's just distracting it's distracting to the eye anything that is in the picture that's not that takes away from the snake in my opinion is taken away from the picture of the snake if you're not just focused solely on the snake and there's anything distracting the background all these weird reflections it's taken away from the snake that's why i really prefer just like either plain white plain black background there we go that canova photo again perfect example here this one wish list morphs so you can't see the whole snake in the photo you see the front half of the snake okay there you go you can see the whole thing with that photo with the next photo so that's okay this one there's some kind of light flaring on the lens so it made it like here you got nice contrast here it's all like kind of lack of contrast because again light was hitting the lens so it's just like reviewing your photos yeah i also recommend taking like 15 to 20 photos and take your best three like take the best three that you possibly took and use those as your featured photos. Why do we keep coming back to the same snakes? I'm, I'm skipping to the next page. Just gonna, gonna try to skip around here and find some ones I haven't seen yet. George MD reptiles. Are, so again, you see the tub in the shot and the substrate and got a little cool PNG out there in the corner, but it's the only picture of the snake. You just opened up the tub, took a picture with the phone, flash or whatever, and. Why do we keep seeing the same horrible hands picture? I've skipped around all the pages. I don't understand what's happening here. Morph Mark, what's going on? I skipped to page five of these photos and we're seeing that same picture again. They just want me to, they just want me to keep seeing the same pictures and just, why? Okay, Danger Noodle Army Ball Pythons. Is this the only picture? Gosh, it's just bad. And it looks like there was at least a light put over it, but and the sticker just sitting there, all this stuff in the background happening over there. What, 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 look at, what, what, what is that? Why? Why does that need to be in the photo? It doesn't. And it just shows me that there was no effort, no care put into it. And that's representative of your business and your animals and just like a lack of lack of care voodoo pythons paper towel in a tub water dish in the photo horrible lighting just a lot of work that needs to be done guys a lot of work i'm i'm gonna stop trying to look look for the bad photos because it's making me feel pretty negative and i like this channel to be a spot where we take the horrible broken world that we're living in and, and find the positive spin in it but forcing myself to look at bad photos and not doing that for me um again not wanting to be mean but definitely wanting to give help or give give pointers or at least point out like hey your photography could be way better your photos of your snakes on morph market more so than your logo are what represent your business and if it's not professional then it's not professional and you're just showing that your business is not professional Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope I'm seeing you at the LA Pet Fair right now, this weekend. If not, that's okay. But leave a comment down below. Let us know if you'd like to see another one of these videos where I go through and pick out some more photos. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you on the next video. Aloha.